Okay, we have Connor McGovern right here. He's ready to go. Connor, when you think about what the run game was able to do last week against such an effective run defense, how does that start with the offensive line and where do y'all think y'all's physicality has been? Um, I think physicality is a big point for us. It's been day one since training camp, big focal point for us. And I think last year, last week it came down to a lot of communication. Um, you saw weeks before playing Carolina, a lot of teams weren't on the same page. And so we made that a big emphasis, make sure we're all on the same page. We knew where the declaration was going, what guys were doing. And I think that helped a lot with our physicality and that allowed us to be more comfortable and then just take over the game. How did that conversation go down with you and Kellen Moore or whoever was involved that you were going to play a little bit of fullback? Um, it came to happen uh, Philly week. Uh, we're sitting in uh, running cell meetings and I'm kind of flipping through the iPad, see this new formation. It's called Mac. I'm like, huh, that, that's interesting. And then I look a little bit closer and it has my number in the backfield. And like flags started going off. I was like, oh, what is this? And then we started going off. And, and I was excited from right there. And I was all in. How do you think you've done in that role? Um, I think we've got a positive gain on every single time. So I think it's uh, positive so far. And it's a lot of fun back there. And wherever they would need to stick me next, I'll go. Do you want to get a carry? <laughs> Uh, we'll take it one play at a time, but you know that's every little kid, every I should say, every little fat kid's dream growing up getting the ball. Uh, I won't say no to that opportunity. What's the key to being able to like be physical and close your on the defense in those situations when they know exactly what you're going to do? Um, again, like I said before, I think it comes down to communication. Uh, all five guys across the board, like. We clearly know where each one's going, what each every guy's doing. And I think that just allows us all to be comfortable with each other and come off the ball together and just no matter what, if they know what we're doing, if we're all on the same page, they can't stop us. You mentioned before week one that you would play any of the positions along the offensive line to you're versatile. What's your experience, but I mean, where, is your, where are your center skills right now? And is that something you think could be an option at some point if needed? Yeah, um, definitely just improving my center skills. Uh, past week or so, I've been taking reps at center at practice. Uh, just getting more and more comfortable. I played some back in college, so it's just natural going back. But I'm comfortable playing any position and then going a little bit of jumbo tight end, fullback, just ready to go wherever. How much did teams talk to you about playing center in, that, in the pre-draft process? Uh, back in the pre-draft, uh, it was more like versatility. That's a lot of teams were looking at me. They knew I could play all three interior. So coming here, uh, it was an option. I started my first year. I didn't really get much experience because I got hurt early on. But I was in between center and guard. So then coming back here, mostly focused on uh, guard. But now I'm getting center reps and feeling comfortable again. What is the most difficult part of playing center? What is the most difficult part of playing center compared to playing guard? Um, definitely uh, guard, you're free right away. But center, you have the ball in your hand. So that just takes getting the timing again, uh, first steps. And uh, I, it's just all about being comfortable with it. So like more reps you get, the better you feel. And that's how I feel right now after going for a week or so, just being more comfortable and relaxed at the position, using the offhand more. Oh, it's great. So we start as O line, we're talking and all that, and then he's always checking and see where our declarations are at, or what he needs, or if he needs to adjust anything. He's up in the line telling us where to go. It, so we're all locked in, all on the same page, and I think that's what allows us to be so translate so smoothly to the field and just keep the play up high. Kellen was saying last week, he's like. I don't know who the 99s are on Madden, but Zach Martin should be one, even if right guard's not the best use position, was the way he said it. What's it like when y'all are going through film from the game looking at Zach's film, and how much is there actually to critique of the game week to week? 
Um, no, talking to him, he'll always have something to critique about himself. But his biggest thing is consistency, how he does the, every little detail the same way from every little set, his hand placement, like his footwork, everything's consistent. And you can see why he's had such great success. And it's just a great person to watch and follow from meetings, how he takes notes, how he's always asking questions. And he's just a great leader in the line room and on the team. Coach McCarthy actually mentioned that he's like, um, definitely the past three years, I've been watching him, everything he does. Um, just like I said, how he consistent he is and like his sets, uh, like he doesn't overplay in one thing or another. He's always comfortable out there, relaxed. And I try to play like that, not getting ahead of yourself. He sees things coming. He's just very level headed out there. You asked this earlier, but I just kind of want to cover up in case on Sunday there's a play action pass and you catch a ball on the flat for a touchdown. Have you ever caught a, a, a ball in your life, in your football life, in a, in a, in a game? Uh, not since back in like early, early mini football days back in elementary. Other than that, no, I have not, but I don't know, growing up, always playing catch and all that other stuff. I, I feel comfortable with my hands and all that. If the time comes, the time comes, and we'll see how it goes. Have you, uh, have you, I, I can't, have you done any of that practice at all? Uh, uh, you'll just have to wait and see. You know, right now, we just have multiple packages in and just take one play at a time. Thanks for your time, Connor. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you all. Thank you.